We're working on a lot that's really exciting, but the most exciting thing we're working on right now is the Solar Decathlon. Parsons has entered into new territory with this competition. We're partnering with uh, Stevens Institute in New Jersey, which is a really strong engineering school. And what we're doing here at Parsons and across the new school has allowed us to enter into the Solar Decathlon in a completely new way. The houses in the competition in the past have neither been rural nor urban. They've been elaborate, beautiful boxes. And what we've done is changed that part of it. We've designed it as a home. Our house will exist in a context. It'll exist in a community. We've partnered with Habitat for Humanity in Washington in Ward 7. The city has given us a site on which we will build a house. It's a vacant site. We will also design a house that will be built in absolutely controlled environment of the laboratory. And we'll bring it down to Washington. It'll go to the mall. It'll be judged like all the other houses. When the competition is over, we're going to take the part on the mall and we're going to join it to the other half on the site and we're going to have a two-family project. We want to design a passive house which uses very little energy, which actually generates energy. So we're working with three partners, Martin Combal from the District of Columbia's planning office, Dave Gano from Habitat for Humanity, and Sylvia Brown, who's a local ANC commissioner. We need to understand the neighborhood that we're working with, Deanwood. So part of my class's responsibility is to start to understand that through census data, through visits to the site, through conversations with local people. Also by creating a, a newsletter that we produce every two weeks. I saw this as a, a great opportunity to continue to advance uh, Dean Woods' uh, transformation rejuvenation into a environmentally sustainable community with uh, the critical aspects of uh, having affordable housing and dealing with real people. The department and the district is very excited to be a key stakeholder in this and to donate the land um, and really play a huge role in the innovation of affordable green housing. This is so inspiring. Already concepts that we're coming up with and working on, we're starting to apply to our building site as, as we speak. And it also encourages us to keep building green. What we plan to do with Parsons is to design homes that can be lived in by low-income people who basically pay no energy bill. Our house is going to be very different than, than other houses. We have a total design team and that total team is working together in the beginning of the process as opposed to in sequence. We are all sitting around the same table. It's not like the architects are here drawing something and then handing it off to the engineers and saying, you got to figure out how to make that work. It involves all kinds of different people. It involves policy and finance students from the Milano School. It involves product designers, architects, lighting designers, environmental studies students, media studies students, fashion students. Everybody you could possibly think of who goes to the new school is represented in this team. Passive House is an opportunity for us to bring a high performing house within an economic budget. Every seam is very carefully considered. The walls are rather thick and there's a certain amount of glazing that has to face the south as opposed to the north. It's not just designing the house, but it's designing the things in the house and how they relate to each other. And I think we've also tried within that to make a beautiful home that we would want to live in, that anyone would want to live in, so that we can bring to Habitat technical rigor fit within their economic constraints. We build things in the world at Parsons. We have programs that do that. We've got a design workshop as part of our graduate experience in architecture, which has more than a decade of projects built in the world. What it means to companies that build housing, to companies that finance housing, to banks. Everybody has something to gain by understanding what housing will be in the future. Habitat for Humanity is the 10th largest developer in the United States. So that's 10% of the market. If we can affect that, we can make a huge impact. There's also the proposition that Habitat will be able to take all of these concepts that we develop internationally. That's the huge dream hope, that we actually will be changing the way houses are built. The challenges in front of us are offering us a huge opportunity to build a better future. And that's what projects like this are about. They point in a new direction. And in our case, we feel you can leverage this kind of project to make real change.